I'm DJ Muldoon and I'm here representing the factory and we're going to be on main stage on Monday at 12 p.m. This is my buddy Ira Pope Sage. Hello. I'm with the factory this weekend. Mm -hmm. ah. Uh, as far as what's kind of happening with stylists now, I think it's more uh, geared towards education and what uh, is there for the individual hairstylist. I uh, believe the knowledge is power, so it's not so much a product, it's more of a, a, a an education, more of an actual science behind something. The temperature in Las Vegas is hot right now. Yeah, super uh, hot. <laughs> but uh, as far as in the world of, like he's talking about, I think education within hands-on classes, more intimate, uh, the indie world is definitely where things are at right now. Um, as far as, and I think your thought towards fashion, for myself, I'm pushing towards a lot more uh, graphics and more uh, really hard, kind of streety looks, really. Uh, yeah. Not your, not your blending with the crowd type of looks, basically. Well, there's, there's so many different kind of mediums for education nowadays. A lot of it is web-based nowadays. Um, so you can actually touch a lot more people out there. You know, you can reach a bigger audience. Um, then there's also hands-on classes where it's more intimate, a smaller audience. And obviously, there's obviously one-on-one uh, -on -one education. But I think really the web is really where it's kind of going now, you know? We yeah. do a lot of web education around the, around the world, so it's really kind of the, uh, the medium now, I think. Yeah, well, technology where it's at, it certainly yeah. opened up the world of education. And education, I think, has gotten more valuable and bigger as the world's gotten bigger with technology. So the web is definitely the uh, yeah. future of it, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's opened up a lot more doors. We get to see what people do in different countries now where we didn't used to get that years yeah. ago. Um, Social media has really changed that, you know, through a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, applications and stuff. Yeah. You can reach a bigger audience now, which is pretty awesome. Our friends at Hairbrain have done a great job yeah. to create a platform for all of us hairdressers. Yeah. Instagram is obviously a great platform yeah. for all of us hairdressers. Um, yeah. All those different type of things. I'm, I'm a big scissor guy. I, I, I personally just use scissors and that. But Ira here, I know, has been really getting to know the clipper end of things now. Right? Sure, should I play yeah. the clippers because of uh, uh, working with the different edgy and, and the graphics and shaped things that I work with. Uh, uh, with that I guess uh, I'll go ahead and pick up for. for I don't know how to say their name. Yeah. Forfex. Yeah. I don't know how to say yeah, their name, but uh, they actually gave me a blade today. Thank you guys. Uh, <laughs> or not a blade, but a guard. Thanks. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like their their clipper overall. But outside of that, I'm also just a scissor guy yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah I, I, like to, I like to keep it simple. The more tools, the more stuff you got to carry around with you. You can yeah, travel the world. You're looking like a tool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'll keep it just using them, not yeah, looking yeah, like one. Yeah, totally. For sure, I, but I myself, I do it all on female. So it's not really, as I put that over the mic, that's good. I do it all on female, so it's not really a barbering technique. I'm a hairdresser. I'm yeah. all the respect to barbers, but I am not a barber. Um, I uh, dabble in it. Um, as far as in doing the edging and things like that, but I am exclusively a hairdresser, I'm not a barber. So all the respect to barbers. Well, so. both Ira and I are both like 20 year veterans in the industry and we started out as, you know, cosmetology students. Uh, we've done the show circuit quite a lot over the last 10, 15 years, haven't we? Yeah. And um, what's great right now is we're here as independent artists. We're not here on anybody else's dollar. This is our dollar. And, uh, our dollar, our time, our, our time, way. our money, everything, yeah. and it's yeah. our investment. And uh, it's nice to be here. It's a privilege to be here as an independent artist and not be here as part of some big corporation and that. Uh, you know, being here for the hairdresser.